What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.1 for the iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5C, 5S, iPod Touch 5th generation, iPad 2, iPad with Retina display, iPad Air, iPad mini with Retina display, the regular iPad mini, and pretty much any iDevice that supports iOS 7.1.1. Now currently this is only working for Windows machines, if there is a Mac OS release version of this jailbreak tool and I'll upload a video on it. But for now this jailbreak is considered a untethered jailbreak meaning that you can turn off your iDevice and turn it back on without the need of your computer. So you pretty much get the full bells and whistles for this jailbreak. So currently I'm running on iOS 7.1.1 for my iPhone 4. I'm going to show you that right now so there's no tricks behind this video. It is recommended that you up, um, update to iOS 7.1.1 through iTunes and not over the air. So the first step is to go into settings, then go to general, go to date and time, and change the date to any time before June 2nd. Now normally it is um, set to automatically, so right now this is what it should look like. Pretty much disable it and tap on the date, and then from there you can change the date. So like I said, go back to any time before June 2nd. Once you do that, you can pretty much tap on, I believe, general, and then it should take effect. So for me, I think I placed May, 30, yeah, May 31st. So simply just go back and it should take effect. Double check just to be sure it says on um, the uh, desired date. Alright, so now we're going to go to our computer. You can go ahead and lay your iDevice down and we're going to go ahead and look at the programs we're going to need for this jailbreak. So I believe the program is called Pangu. I'll have the links in the video description below. Uh, and in case they did pronounce it wrong, it could be Pangu, Panju, I'm not sure what. But main thing is, it is, I believe, in Chinese, so it's going to be hard to understand what's being displayed on the screen. So uh, let's go to the actual website where you're going to download the actual program. So, like I said, I'll have the uh, link in the description, as well as a step by step guide which was found in Reddit in case you do need any additional help. So you're going to get this website here, and then you're only going to have two options, Mac OS and Windows. Currently, like I said, Mac OS is not available. So once you click on the Windows option, it's going to click, or I'm sorry, it's going to go to a uh, download website. In case, for some reason, the um, download link does not work, there's also a mirror on that same Reddit link that I have in the video description below. So the first thing you want to do is simply, you know, obviously run the program, and then uncheck the little check box. Uh, check box and then once you do that, make sure everything's connected and click on the black box. And it should be uh, taken care of from the program from here. So on your iDevice, you should notice a new app that it's on your home screen. Simply go on it and tap on it. It's going to tell you to um, either continue or exit or quit. Just simply tap on continue and then the program should continue on with the jailbreak process. From here on out, it's going to take a while. I'm going to fast forward so I don't really waste your time because I know you don't want to go through all that jailbreak process. So it's going to reboot up to twice, the first one being uh, right now. Once it pretty much goes back to the uh, lock screen, just lay it down, it's going to go ahead and reboot uh, one more time. Alright. From here on out, you can pretty much close out of Pangu and then let your iPhone um, come back up. You're going to notice a new boot logo. Alright, so once you're in your lock screen, you want to go ahead and slide to unlock. Unlike me, that can't really seem to get it to work. But once you pretty much go to your home screen and scroll to the right, you should see Cydia on your home screen. So you want to go ahead and tap on it. And it's going to begin the regular uh, process you would whenever you first open up Cydia. So it's going to go through that preparing file system that seems to take forever for me. So I'm going to go ahead and and yet again, uh, fast forward so you don't have to put up with a lengthy video. And then from here on out, it's pretty much done. you are got your jailbreak, pretty simple, no DFU mode, just a simple click and tapping on your iDevice. So, yeah. 
Um, as far as uh, reliability goes, um, the person that released this jailbreak came from one of um, Iconic's uh, teachings or lessons that he does, um, I guess, on his spare time or something. But uh, yes, it does use Iconic's exploit, which Iconic himself is kind of displaced right now. Because if you haven't noticed, uh, Iconic on Twitter has been posting pictures, as well as his students posting pictures of the iPhone 5S having Cydia running on it. And so, because this exploit was released so soon, uh, they could patch it. And by they, I mean Apple. So, more than likely, they will. They might release 7.2. I know for sure that 7.1.2 is uh, going to be released within the coming week or weeks. Which I don't think is going to fix the actual exploit. So, if you are hesitant of jailbreaking to 7.1.1, I recommend you do it now before they release the uh, patch for it. Hopefully they have another exploit out for iOS 8, so they can pretty much jailbreak it whenever, or have it uh, jailbroken by the time it releases. Right now I'm showing you that I'm running on my iPhone, the current iOS version, and the Studio version. But um, yeah, back to what I was talking about. So hopefully they do have another exploit out, and hopefully we can, uh, like I said, have a jailbroken iOS 8 out sooner than what took iOS 7 uh, like months to get. So that's pretty much it guys, uh, everything else after this video is just pretty much showing you that it's an until jailbreak, I'm going to turn off my iDevice and turn it back on, pretty much show you more of Cydia, and that's it. But I hope you guys liked this video, if you did, please click the like button, if you have more questions, post the comments, and if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.